How's it going, everybody? This is Barney Kunzi, and welcome. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds, but not too long, uh, to get in here live, those of you who are able to join in. Um, and so that I know that this is working, um, I always like to do this. Just let me know who is on um, when you guys come on. Just uh, go ahead and, um, uh, wow, let me know where you're uh, tuning in live from, okay? Um, because basically this is something that I'm doing. I just wanted to share this with you, share this with you because these guys, uh, the company that I came across in the marketing world, um, it's pretty, uh, impressive to say the least. Okay. Um, and it's a Canadian company. At least I know that they're in Ottawa. Um, and I'm going to share a little bit with you here in just a little bit, um, more about the company and it's, it's a very smart business concept for them. Um, but it's really brilliant because it's connecting uh, marketing interns. I'll um, let you guys I'm just hang on a second. It's connecting marketing interns um, with people like us or like you that need help, um, and um, but that they need experience because it's one thing to go and get an education, um, but it's another thing to be educated but not have the actual real world experience. Um, so yeah, great to see you all tuning in here. Um, from Mobile, Alabama. Am I saying that right, Audrey? Um, I think, uh, uh, wow, um, Jeffrey, Jeff, no, Jeremy and Haley Aleph, I think they're from Mobile. I said Mobile, and they're like, yeah, we don't say that here. <laughs> um, and um, Jennifer, welcome from uh, North Carolina. Um, Brenda, nice to see you. Texas, Tennessee. Vegas, Tara Rayburn, welcome, another fellow presenter, uh, East Longmeadow, Massachusetts. Um, and so I did say it right, awesome. So I get a brownie point, a pat in the back for me. Um, okay, so basically I'm just gonna get straight into this because uh, I wanna keep this relatively short, under 30 minutes. If you guys have questions, um, post them in the comments. I will do my absolute best to answer them because I'm doing uh, this moderating it and running it live by myself, um, which is totally fine. So. What I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna um, share my uh, screen here in just a second um, so that I can actually show you guys how this thing all works um, and then what you need to do to get started if you're interested. So first of all, um, the way that this thing works is that the company is called Gen M um, and if you were coming on late and you missed this, um, you, you missed the part that it's a Canadian company and basically what they do is they connect uh, business owners like us or other businesses um, that or business owners or entrepreneurs that are looking for marketing help um, and so what they do is that there's people that are they, these interns are going through a digital marketing course but the thing is is that if you just have the uh, theoretical or like okay I took the course I know how to you know do some social media work but I haven't really actually done it yet um, it, it, it's challenging so the thing that you got to know before you get started is you have to ask yourself the question, okay? Am I willing and prepared to be a coach and a guide to the intern? They're not like little slaves that you're gonna hire in and they're just gonna go do all your minion work. Um, I'm not sure that many of you are thinking that, but maybe some of you are thinking, well, you know what? I could just offload a whole bunch of stuff to them, but you don't wanna just dump a whole bunch of stuff on them. It, it's a two-way relationship. They're looking at it to you for leadership or to us as guidance and leadership. Um, and uh, I've just got a note here. Sandy said, have we started yet? So Sandy, let me know <laughs> um, if you are wondering if I started the Facebook Live or if I started with, with Gen M. Um, but basically, you just have to ask yourself the question, are you ready and willing and prepared to be a guide for them, okay? Um, because they need to know that as in Gen M, they actually will get on the phone with you and just kind of do a bit of a pre-qualification um, with you to make sure that you're ready to take on an intern because it's not like you just give them the job and say, here's the work that you're going to do, and now you're good for three months, and see you later, okay? Um, but when you look at making the investment of $150 for three months worth of work of between five and 15 hours a week of work, so if you take that, let's just say we do 10 hours, they do 10 hours a week of work for you um, over the whole 12-week period, that's 120 hours worth of work. Um, so I'm going to show you what I what I did and how you can get started, and I'm also going to show you how I um, have been. How could I do this? How I have been. Um, uh, what I've been doing exactly what I've been doing with my uh, the two interns that I have working with me right now. 
So I'm just waiting for my screen to set up. So any other questions for me, guys? I know this is pretty straightforward, um, but any questions for me at all, just let me know. And I'm going to take this off. That's too far. Now, tell me if you can see what I have up on the screen. Um, can you guys see that I have the, um, where is it, the Gen M. So as you can see there, if you go to, um, I'm going to post it in the comments. You can go to fullcircleholistichealth.com forward slash Gen M. Uh, they have actually set it up for you guys that you can go and get $25 off your first um, intern. Um, so I'm going to post that here. You can use it. You can click on the link. Um, but I have had them doing a lot of work, okay? The one, uh, Quinn, she is uh, from Ottawa, actually, and she is very keen to learn and to grow and is just very grateful um, for the opportunity to work with me um, because I've been giving her a lot of stuff to do. And she, at the time, she wasn't working at all. Now she has a part-time job. So she's splitting her part-time job with the work that she's doing uh, for us for the summit and for um, our uh, like our team for our essential oil business to uh, contribute to our ranking up to platinum. Um, and so she's really loving it because she's getting a lot of experience. Um, and so it's really cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that link. You go there, you can click on uh, get $25 off and it explains to you the basics of how it works where you create your profile um, and then you, you create your profile for free and then you can actually discover the, the talent, so to speak. So you're going to be able to go in there. They're, they're going to ask you like, you know, questions like, what are you looking to accomplish? What do you need help in? What's your company? What size is it? Uh, are you in a growth mode or where are you? Um, so go through that whole process, set up your profile for free. Um, and then when you're ready to get an intern, then you can use that $25 credit um, to get you going. And then um, then what you do is you kind of like, you know, you're, you're scrolling through because you're going to see people from all over the world. You can say, well, I only want to work with interns from the US or from Canada or from other countries in the world. Uh, just know that that may kind of uh, limit your – here, let, that should be better. Um, so Tara and anybody else that's on live, guys, can you just let me know to make sure that the, the viewing is nice and clean and you can see my screen? Just um, sometimes I don't get the comments right in exact live time, but I just want to make sure it's all good. Um, so here is that page where you're going to go and you get yourself started. It's pretty straightforward. I won't spend too much time on that. What I then do, um, what I did with them when I started, um, is I actually went through and I actually have a lot of private, I'm just gonna scroll very quickly because I have a lot of private sensitive information on here. Um, but there is the information that I put on there. I actually created a Google Doc and then I would put on uh, the instructions. So first I would start, okay, the first thing that I did is I gave Quinn some basic training, uh, spent about an hour together, you know, kind of like an interview, like if I was hiring an employee, uh, for my uh, business that when I had the gyms or maybe somebody for my team. And once I had a bit of a better feel, I would give her a project and said, okay, here's the project. Here's how you get started. Um, and then just go for it. And most of them, uh, the students are very project and deadline driven. So don't make it unrealistic. Like don't give them like, go do this. And I want it done by tomorrow at 7 a.m. And tonight's, you know, 5 p.m. <laughs> um, you ask them, say, how long do you think that's going to take you? Okay, great. It's going to take you two days. Awesome. Um, and then say, let's schedule another meeting to follow up. And then I've been just scheduling one meeting. Sometimes, you know, we've been texting or messaging in between to make sure that we stay in contact. Um, but it's very helpful to make sure that you give uh, a project, give a deadline, give a clear description, um, and then let them go. Okay. You got to remember that they're not, um, you know, you, you, you're having them work for you. They're doing work for you but they want the experience, right? So if you can give them a variety of things. So what the, what I did with my uh, two interns um, is I we started with, there was a document that I wanted to, we had an old flyer. I don't know where it is right now. We had an old flyer that I created um, years ago and it was just horribly non-compliant. It totally was outdated. Um, and so I had Quinn go through it and it, I think it actually took her, because uh, it was it, there was like 15 or 18 pages to it. Um, it took her probably 15 hours. Um, and so uh, at an average wage for an administrative assistant and or uh, marketing assistant can range anywhere between, depending on, I know it's different for you guys in the States, but in Canada, like minimum wages went up here to like 14 or $15 an hour. Um, but it can range anywhere between 15 and 20 bucks for more advanced between 20 and 30. But let's just say it was $20 an hour at 15 hours to go and 
duplicate it because I didn't have it in a digital format. So she went through in Canva. I went through and found the images and went in and uh, retyped everything up. And it took about 15 hours. So right there, that first project, I was like, you know what? Um, if nothing else happens, that was totally worth it right there. Okay. So I think what I'd like to encourage you guys is to think of what are the things that you have in your business that have been kind of, um, you know, falling through the cracks or it's been dragging on and someday you're going to get to this and someday you're going to start writing some blogs for your website or you're going to get some social media posts up and going. Um, I personally think that the first thing I would start doing if you're looking at this solely for a young living business is to look at a content strategy for um, your story, but also for just in general about the oils on a Facebook page, but that can also be on a blog. If you don't have a blog, then on a Facebook page. If you don't have a Facebook page or a blog, then go on to Instagram. And if you don't have that, then that's your first place to start um, by getting some really, really great uh, content to get them started. Now, you get also, when you go through and you're searching for, I should come back to this for a second. Um, so when you go to discover talent, it says browse profiles and chat with students and then interview top candidates. So you're really, it's like you're interviewing. So there is time, a time investment. There's got to be an exchange. You're either going to pay with time or you're going to pay with money. So you can go pay a professional and buy speed and just get the job done. Boom, you're good to go. Um, but I've had the experience where I bought speed and I didn't get the result I was looking for and it cost me a lot of money. And then I had to go spend the time uh, to do that. And now that doesn't always happen. Um, but there is an exchange of time. So if you're really, 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 really slammed and tight on time, um, it might not be the right time for you right now. But I'd also encourage you to take a step back and say, okay, well, why am I so busy? And and how is it not possible that I can afford to spend, you know, an hour or two, I would say probably two hours a week to uh, nurturing and developing and pouring into your intern uh, or interns um, because uh, they can give you some huge returns. Okay. So Jennifer, um, let's see here. So you said you need help with follow-up calls. Uh, it's the one thing I do not like, um, but I know it needs to be done. So do you recommend having somebody do these kinds of calls? So for a marketing intern, I don't know. I think that's a great question to ask your intern saying, hey, um, Mary, I, my, my intern Mary, uh, I, this is what I'm having a challenge with and I need some help. But I would say, Jennifer, if that if you're you don't like doing the phone calls, first of all, I'd ask you, like, what kind of phone calls are they? Number two, why don't you like doing them? And number three, I think that you'd be better off well served getting them doing other things so that you can do the phone calls because you are the energy of your business, the essence, the face, the name of your business. Right. First class uh, health and wellness, I think it is. Um, and so people want to talk to you. Right. But it's not always possible. So maybe making some phone calls of then calling some. Uh, maybe a short list um, to invite them to a meeting or to a training or something like that. You can certainly do that, but I think you're going to, you're certainly going to want to ask them saying, Hey, Mary, my intern, would you be comfortable? Would you like to do this? Because at the end of the day, what I explained to my interns, um, let me go back to the full screen here. What I explained to my interns um, is saying that this is where there's a lot of things that they learn in these courses but just like in formal education, a lot of stuff that you learn that you don't end up using in the real world. And so I said, I'm going to show you the shortcuts, the things that I found that need to be paid attention to and the basic skills to be mastered in order to, for you, the marketing intern, to be successful in gaining more experience and to have more confidence in certain areas um, when it comes to just having the actual experience. Because if I was looking at hiring somebody, I'm going to want to know, show me the blogs that you've written, show me your social media graphics that you've created, the posts, the engagement, you know, this page was here and then you built engagement up to this level or you've grown the followers to this level or uh, whatever. I'd like to see the results, right? And you can have the theory and the training, but if you don't have the results uh, and the experience to back it up, that's uh, not good, but that's why the internship is there. Coming back around full circle to my point is ask them what they are looking for in experience in your interview with them. And, and, um, and then if you're like, okay, well, I've, you give them some wide variety of uh, options. Um, but I, I like to give them different, like I, Quinn has been doing a fair bit of like data entry of like taking data from here, putting it over here, um, updating fields, going over here and making flyers, making social media images. She went through my Facebook page. It's been totally neglected our personal Facebook page for our business. Um, and so she's been helping with that. Um, and then our other intern, um, Louise, who is actually like literally from 20 minutes from my office here, 
um, we've never met, but she just happens to be like 20 minutes from here. Um, she's helping with the Animal Wellness Summit. So she's helping with building engagement on our Facebook page, on our Instagram account. Um, and then we're working on where she's actually doing some outreach um, and on our account to get some more, uh, finding some more influencers and some other things that we can uh, do to continue to build our brand online and build our um, our business. So um, I am going to pause for a second. I'm going to take some water and I'm going to give you guys a chance if you have any questions. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them. I saw Sandy, I don't know if you're still on, but you were asking, have you started yet? So again, I don't know if you were asking if I started the Facebook Live or if I started the um, the with Gen M. I have two interns right now, and uh, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to get two more. But any questions? I see another one coming up here. Um, so Jennifer, hopefully I answered your question. I would say that it wouldn't be out of the question, but I would certainly would ask your intern if they're open to doing that um, and see what they say. Uh, Tara, thanks for saying everything looks good, and Stacy, awesome. Um, so Terry, let's get this pulled up here for a second. You're new to business, the business aspect and only have one girl in your team. Is this something that I could benefit from to build? Um, I would say yes, because I think that um, it depends on your experience. If you have really no formal experience whatsoever before in the past, before starting Young Living in any business or entrepreneur uh, style, well, if you're if you don't have that entrepreneurial spirit yet and you're building that and growing it and really working on your leadership, um, I think that if you go into it um, knowing that, okay, now it's 100, I, I believe it's still 150, um, that's US. And so with the, the credit that we're able to give you guys through that that link that I posted, it uh, brings down to 125. I think the question would be to ask, can you, do you have the time to give the value to this intern that you want to bring on and and what things would you like them to do for you in order to help you grow because they're looking for the experience but I'll be honest if you're not actually clear on what you need to do or you're like well I have no idea I just want to grow my business well they're gonna say okay so what do you want to do to grow your business you can ask them back and say well what do you think I should do <laughs> but then you can run around in that little circle um, and so Terry I'm just saying that uh, I think that you totally can um, but as long as you're really clear and you have that uh, on what you want to accomplish and some things that they can do for you, like doing some, you know, creating 20 or 30 social media posts for Twitter for um, if you're still, if you're on Twitter uh, or Instagram or uh, creating images, just thinking and getting creative. Um, I'm going to give you a list of some of the things that I've had them working on, but I think it's important to start the process. Get yourself started with a, a profile, um, get your first credit, and go through the experience. Because at the end of the day, you can't go wrong on this. Um, because they're they're if you uh, attract the right type of intern for you, which I believe that you will when your intention is clear. Um, I think that you'll have value, and it's not like you're spending you know a th thousand or two thousand um, dollars. But I've added up already the hours. This is a rough guess. That, that the interns that I've had, Louise and Quinn, that have been um, working with me in our company, um, I'm, I'm quite certain it's now over $4,000 uh, because we're just, uh, we as in myself and my small little team of Jamie and our two interns and myself for the summit for our Young Living Essential Oils business, we're just, we're in like high growth hustle mode right now because it's uh, the Young Living Summit's coming up in November, in October, the Animal Wellness Summit's coming up in November, we're ranking up to platinum. Um, but this is the time to do it, and that's why I'm, I'm just so very grateful to have their help. So I think any help will be a big um, benefit to you, Terry. So I hope that I answered that question. Um, and um, okay, so so good. This is good, Tara. Um, okay, <laughs> Terry, I just saw your comment now. Um, you said nope, zero. I'm let me go back a second. So you, I'm presuming you said the entrepreneurial. Uh, experience or business owner experience um, and then you go here this is awesome info thank you so very much so I'm glad that you found this helpful uh, this is a quick one I'll just hit on this real quick um, and are the interns um, members of Young Living um, probably not I think that they might be but they're just they're from all around the world uh, this company um, as in Gen M they they're basically interfacing and connecting people like us that are in need, business owners, 
um, that are looking for help and the interns are looking for experience so they can actually not only get their, because they need hours in order to get their certification um, uh, to get to actually certified. Is it, yeah, certified? Or, wow, to get their degree. <laughs> Um, to get their degree and then also to pass uh, their course, um, but also just to get some actual real, wor real world experience. So the types of projects, okay, um, back here for Tara, you had said, so the top five things that I have had our interns doing are this, okay, number one, creating a, an engaging social media content strategy, okay, so if you're not really clear on what that is, then it's probably gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to, uh, look a little bit more into, but really just saying, you know, I, I was at convention listening to Lindsay Teague Morano, or Moreno, and she was just saying that, you know, it, it's social media is something that you don't necessarily wanna delegate out, um, but when you, because you, you wanna have your voice to come through, the whole point of social media is to expand your reach um, and, and express more of who you are as a person online, so the better the intern knows who you are, your values, things that are important to you, you can, you know, kind of tell them more about yourself and say, you know, I'm just curious, Mary, my little intern, um, he, here's who I am, here's what I'm looking, here the people I'm looking to attract uh, into my business. Um, why don't you come up with a content strategy for Facebook posts? So let's start with creating 10 Facebook posts or 15 Facebook posts um, so that you can use those and get them scheduled out or get them ready to post. And then you can still edit them. And then I think that if you start with 10, what we did is we started with 10 and then I gave some feedback, you know, I didn't really like this, but I like this. And so they kind of get to know you a little bit better, but keep in mind, it's, you got to be very quick with this because you don't have like a month. I mean, technically you do have months, but it's a, it's a three month window that you have with the intern. Um, and so the first one is the social media content. The other one is creating graphics. Okay. Now keeping in mind that depending on your intern, they may or may not be super savvy with creating graphics. If they're not really that good, maybe don't get them to create the graphics, but you give them some guidance or say, Hey, here's some really cool images I found online and then give them, um, hopefully you have access to a software like Canva. Um, I think that Canva is free. Um, I know we pay for it right now, but I think Canva is actually free where you can create graphics. Um, and so, social media posts and content, your graphics. The other thing is starting with some basics where it comes to um, maybe it's updating a database, okay? Maybe it's taking your members from uh, your virtual office and putting them into Project Broadcast or putting them to getoiling.com. I'm using that system right now. I'm really loving it. Um, or, you know, something. So there's a variety of things. So don't just give them all admin data entry because they're like, well, I could get this anywhere but it's important that you give them a wide variety. So we have content creation, we have graphics, social media and graphics. Uh, some of them can even start running some Facebook ads for you. Some of them are really good with that, but you gotta you know, give them a little budget of like $20 or $50 and then get them started. It, it takes a certain level of trust to be in place in order to let some of them do that for you. I haven't had the two girls that are working with us right now do that, um, but you can do that. So hopefully this is helping Tara. And then the other thing is, um, when it comes to creating more for ideas, ask them. So it's a creative project. It's asking them saying, Quinn, this is what I'm looking to accomplish. This is where these are the problems or the challenges that I'm having in my business. Um, now I've given you one, two, three, four projects to work on creating gra content, graphics, <clears throat> and then taking, oh, hopefully I'm still in line here. Um, and then taking uh, that information and working on some Facebook ads. The other one is now I'd like you to um, give me some ideas. What do you think we could do or I could do? How could I improve um, my emails that I'm sending out or how can I improve my website or ask them because they have went through the training um, and depending on what courses they've taken, they might really excel in this area and they might not be so strong in this area. So, but it, when you ask them like, here's what you're looking to accomplish, what ideas do they have? Um, I think that it'll be neat because then they'll give you ideas that you never even thought of um, and actually in order to actually work on. So Tara, uh, if you're still on, does that give you some more, um, does that give you more insight in the actual project so you can use to start to delegate? Um, I guess the last thing I would say on that Tara, cause this is a really, really, really good question. Of course, you're gonna ask the really good questions. All of them are great questions, but I'm just having some fun with Tara right now. Um, is list out 
and write out all the projects that you would like to delegate. If you could wave the magic wand, what would it look like um, if you had a marketing intern that could work for you 15 hours a week? What are the things that you would like them to do? Where do you need areas and help? I think where are the areas that need improvement and do you need help in your business? And get clear on that first because then once you're clear, then when you go looking for your intern, you're going to look, okay, oh, wow, they excel in Facebook ads and you know maybe uh, WordPress and graphic design. Okay, great. Then that's when you would kind of, if that is aligned with what you're looking for, it makes it easier because there's a lot of them that are in this database but the, the Gen M does a very good job with whatever you're looking to accomplish and whatever strengths the interns have, they, they filter them so that you have the most, uh, a higher likelihood of finding a, a better um, intern, okay? Um, so Sandy, you were saying you have no idea uh, what to have an intern do, but you would love their expertise. So hopefully I already answered your question. I think this comment was probably a couple minutes uh, ago. Um, but I would also say that, and remember, I'm just doing this as like a little kind of, um, I just want to share with you because that we, I was talking to them at, her name's Jess at, uh, the, the headquarters. And I just said, I'd like to offer my community something special. And she said, sure, we can give you guys, uh, a, anybody who uses your link $25 off. Um, and so I just want to share this with you right now. Um, and just to get it out there because I, uh, have my plate full, but I wanted to share this with you guys. Cause if you can get started now then we'll we have some questions, maybe some other things, um, because they're actually going to be doing a presentation for us in the summit, explaining more, showing more um, about the platform, about the different projects that you can get them to work on. Um, I'm just sharing with you guys what I've been doing so far. So Sandy, hopefully that gives you some more clarity. Um, and Melissa, uh, if members, if not members of YL is compliance an issue, well, this is a great point. That's going to be your job and opportunity as their mentor and their guide or not their employer, but um, as their direct report um, to educate them on, okay, here is the compliance document. Here is what, you know, compliant posts look like here are non-compliant posts um, because it's important to get your brain in that mindset where it is, it's very challenging for me uh, because I want to be the expert and, and know everything and do all, have all the answers. But I'm really, really, really learning to leverage um, the skills and abilities of other people. I mean, I've been working at this for years, but I still have this, uh, maybe it's a control issue, <laughs> um, but that I want to do all the things and I can't because I don't have time. My time's finite. All of our time is finite. But when you can be in that mindset, Melissa, of like, okay, compliance is an issue. Well, how can I give better guidance and instruction to my intern to make sure that they can create and generate some compliance posts, compliant posts, uh, then I think that you're gonna have a great experience. But when you go back to what I said earlier, get a couple, like, here's what compliance looks like, here, here's what it doesn't look like, okay? Go create 10 posts and then we'll review them together. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we can't say this, we can't say that because they want that um, direction. So I hope that that helps, Melissa, because that is, that is a great question. Um, Sandy, you have them. For anywhere between five and 15 hours, I know um, Louise is working, our intern right now, she's working, she's a pretty busy work schedule, so she does it, uh, I think, maybe 10 hours a week. When Quinn first started the first month, she's like, I have no job, I, I, I need this experience to get a job, so she's got a bridge job right now, I'm trying to help her to get a, another job, um, and depends on, you know, if they really are a smash hit for you, you can hire them, even if it's part-time, for five to 10 hours a week. Um, after that is an opportunity, I think that is that is there. Um, but it depends. So I know in the beginning, Quinn was doing like 25 or 30 hours a week um, because she was just hungry and she was like, I want to learn, like, give me everything you can you can give me. And I'm like, OK, well, be careful what you ask for, because you just might get it. Um, so it can be any it's but they say in the contract it's anywhere between five to I think five to 15 hours a week. Um, <clears throat> so. Terry, um, do they actually do the posting? I guess the better question would be is do you provide them your login information or do they send everything and you do it? So good question. Um, it could be both. So um, if you're if we're talking about a page, I give like Louise. Um, so if we're talking about Instagram, she has the login information to go in there. Um, they're under contract. Like they're not, you know, I mean, certainly there is the potential that they could post something stupid that could be not good for your brand. 
But if that's the case, then internships done. It's they're 15 out, hours. And they're not going to get the hours credited for them. So it's kind of silly. They wouldn't do that. And I, I'm pr pretty sure that you're not thinking that. But I know that's a concern that some of you will have was thinking, well, I'm, hey, hey, like I'm trusting other people getting into my accounts. Well, you're not going to give them access to everything. But um, but in order to do it on Instagram, you got to give them your credentials to, to be able to log in. On Facebook, it's different. I don't know how uh, knowledgeable you are with Facebook. But the way the Facebook business manager works is I can invite, let's say, Tara Rayburn, if she wanted to take over and run my social media, um, I could invite her to become an employee of my Facebook account and then give her access to, I have like five or seven pages that my, my ad account has control of. Um, let me take this over here. Um, and so I've made them admins of certain the pages so they can respond to comments and like comments and engage with people on the Facebook page um, and schedule the posts um, because you can actually do that right on the Facebook page about how to actually schedule posts out. So if you give them the, get them on the right straight and narrow for your content and then they can go in, you know, create all the posts and the images and then schedule them out and then they're all good for the week. Um, so I hope that that answers the question, Terry. And awesome, Tara, thanks for the comments. I know I'm about six or seven minutes behind. So, um, um, yes. you detect clarity in your next oil purchase. I have some right over here on the table, but it's out of my reach. So I will beam it to you down in Vegas. Okay. Um, okay. So Sandy, yes, they do work with you online. Um, they're I, very unlikely that they come to your location. So you do, this is where, you know, you do have to be prepared for the tech side of like communicating with them with Zoom. If anything, guys, going through this process of hiring an intern or working with an intern um, is going to teach you so much. And it's going to teach you so much because either you were massively ready and behind the times and you should have had, should have had an intern before. Um, and you're just like, boom, boom, boom. I feel like that right now. I feel like I'm able to give them a lot, keep them busy. I probably could uh, work with three to four interns, but it's a fair bit, uh, not during be or in pre-launch before the summit goes. Um, but you're, you're either going to be in that stage or the other stage where you're going to be like, okay, this is good, but I've, I've got some things going, but I'm feeling a little behind. And then the other, the other, um, scenario is going to be where you feel completely overwhelmed. You're behind in the technology. You don't know how to use zoom. You're not even sure what Facebook business manager is or what the heck is Instagram. I'm having some fun here. Um, but it's going to then teach you to say, okay, well, here's where I, as in Sandy, I'll just pick on Sandy for a second because I, I know Sandy so I can. Um, do, where do I need to grow in my knowledge, in my understanding, in my training, in my education so that I can have a better understanding in order to better delegate, in order to continue to grow, to give an intern uh, a better experience in the future? Not saying they get a bad experience, but I hope that that makes sense because you're going to learn in the sense that um, you're going to be fully ready and ready to rock and roll, or you're going to be like, wow, I need to have, you know, I have a lot of work to do. Okay. Um, so that helps, I think. Um, so Sandy, what you do, the best thing you can do, let me just take this off the screen here. Uh, I'll take myself off the screen. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to, I put this in the comments, but I'll put it in again, full circle, holistic health.com forward slash Gen M, and that's going to give you your $25 credit. You're going to click here to go sign up, okay? And then it's going to walk you through these questions, and they'll guide you through it. Um, so you're going to go and get yourself signed up, and then what you're going to do then is, as it says here, create your profile, discover talent, and then get free marketing. Um, so as it says here, Gen M apprentices work unpaid so they can get the experience in the job market, and that's exactly what it is that they're looking to do with you. So that's how you get them assigned to you. Um, I should have left that question up there. Um, yes, I think that I'm running out of things to say, believe it or not. I'm going to wrap things up here very shortly because I want to keep this about, <laughs> about 30 minutes. <laughs> and my afternoon Minxer Red Shot's calling me here. So hopefully that answered, uh, Sandy. Uh, and so, Melissa, you subscribe to several sites um, that create content that can be accessed. So... Great. So this is perfect. I mean, yeah, there's like, there's, um, uh, actually, why don't you post them, Melissa? Because I know that there is a lot of sites that are out there. I know there's some membership sites, um, that, uh, that provide some good content that can be posted. 
Um, I would just say that when you do that, you still want to personalize and customize it because people's um, uh, awareness of uh, copy and paste posts in social media, people can read through that pretty quick. So you want to take the post and kind of make it into your own would be my humble suggestion, but this is great. So why don't you go and post the places where you get the content from? I know I just my just renewed my membership with Lori Gordon. She's amazing uh, from Get uh, Revolution Oil Design. I think that's her website, um, Oil Revolution Design, I think, ORD is the acronym. Um, but she's got, has great images. Um, and so that's great. If you already have the content and you need, the, I, I will tell you the biggest challenge that I see in the marketing world, in the consulting world, and just overall business uh, world, but especially in Young Living, is you can have all this content and all this stuff that's out here, but it's, it's being able to create compelling and engaging content. It's still, it's a struggle, honestly, for us with at the summit, there's so much more noise or more things happening in the young living eco space that it's, it's harder to get our message through, but that just means it's, uh, we just have to continue to keep innovating and creating and um, improving. Um, but when you have access to great content and you're just having a struggle with, um, creating that, like the, the content schedule, that is the biggest, uh, one of the, I shouldn't say the biggest, it's one of the biggest challenges um, and, and I think that's where a marketing intern can really, really help. So, um, uh, Tara, you were just saying that is the FB business manager account. Yeah. So it, it's free. I mean, right now, um, yeah, you, you can create your, your page. So if you don't have a Facebook page and you have to start there, um, then you can set up a, a business manager account. And then that's where you can give your admin access or pardon me, your admin your intern access for about three, well, for the three month period. And then when they're done and they're like, okay, you say we're done, I'm done. We've had a great time together. Then they leave and then you can take them out. So they don't have access to your account anymore. Um, and that works really good. So last couple things here and then we're going to wrap it up. So Terry, you're welcome for, um, doing this for you because I uh, was thinking, I'm like, why did I schedule this on Wednesday? I've got to have bing, 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 all this stuff happening. But I, teach what I most need to be taught and I grow through positive public pressure. Speaking of which, I just did a recording with a guy on the summit. Um, his name's Scott Pullen. You guys are going to want to listen to this. And I made a very, very, very bold declaration for the next 30 days for me to go from gold to platinum and nothing is stopping me. I, part of me is like, I have no freaking idea how exactly it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So you guys are seeing this live and whenever you're going to watch this as a replay, but I'm telling you this, not to impress anybody, of course, but just to let you know that I like to make those these commitments to help serve you guys because it actually fuels me as well. So I'm glad that you are appreciative of that. And um, I want to finish reading this. So and the, this vital tool, it is amazing. It's this, this, this is like literally going to change your business for sure. Um, so you gain more knowledge in this short live post than you have in two years of young living from your upline. So you know what? That's cool. Because my uplines, I love them so much, but they're in Rhode Island and Australia. Um, and I don't get to see them all the time. And we talk, but there's time zone differences and all this stuff. And the best thing you can do, Terry, I just feel like sharing this right now, is kiss your upline goodbye. Okay, don't expect them to create success for you or anybody else. You and you only are responsible for your own business. Uh, because in no other business in the entire world would you ever look up and say, Hey, like, why aren't you helping me? Like build my fitness business, my consulting business, my cooking business, my restaurant. There's nobody else. It's you and that really cool looking person that looks back at you in the shiny piece of glass that sticks in the wall where you brush your teeth. And so I'm saying that because I know that you're not like complaining or anything. Um, but this is the power of young living. This is the power of the summit. This is the power of cross line. That's why we are in such an amazing. Um, oh, yes, Tara. Thank you. Let me post this up here. Um, so that is, I'm going to actually have to do this down here. That is the power of young living. And that's why it's so amazing. Um, because you can see that Barney, while he's on live, um, is exemplifying to all the women on here. <laughs> it's hard for guys to, um, multitask. Um, let me just pull this down here for a second so I can get this comment to pull up. But yeah. I was trying to type and talk at the same time. It wasn't working. Um, so I'll, I'll get that link posted. Uh, here it is. Here it is right here. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I was just saying that in no other business, I, I, I wouldn't say it in a 
like in a bad way. But if you are watching this and you're sitting there, even if you're not like verbalizing it or you're not saying it, but you're kind of thinking it and being like, well, my upline this, well, my upline that, well, you know what? Drop it and just completely wipe that off the screen of your life and just think that, just thank them. As Eric Ward will say, call them and say, hey, thanks for getting me into this business. I'm, you know, you're not going to see me or hear from me and tell me you hit your next rank because it's really empowering to just um, get support in wherever you need it and can look for it um, or wherever you can look for it and get it and need it and, and not always think that it has to come from upline. Um, but really in no other business in the entire world would you would ever get, um, you never get this like, well, my upline did this or didn't do this or whatever. It's like, you're on your own. You know, when you, when you started, when I started my fitness business, I'm going to end off in here. Um, cause I think we have pretty much gotten to the finish here, Tara. Um, I'm going to let you, well, okay. I posted the, posted the link again, um, so that you guys can actually see it. Um, and oil revolutions design. Thank you. Um, and let me get back to this other comment, but I'll tell you this. Okay. When I started my fitness business, I was just talking to this about this the other day with a friend. And they were thinking about getting started with Young Living and how much. And I said, really, you want to plan at least one to one to three thousand dollars in product spend in the first three to six months, getting your training, getting your knowledge, getting your education. That's like on the low level. Because if you're just thinking you're going to start this business and you're going to buy a starter kit, you're just going to kind of stumble your way through it. Um, you can do that, but you want to find the successful people to work with. When I started the gym, um, I had uh, signed a five-year lease. It was about five thousand dollars. It grew to seven thousand dollars a month. And I signed a five-year lease that I couldn't get out of for five years. So uh, uh, 12 months of the year at 5,000 is 60,000 a year. 60,000 a year times five years is 300,000. Plus we borrowed north of $130,000. That's $430,000 that we borrowed without any guarantee that we were gonna be successful. Now, I'm not saying this to impress anybody, but to literally let you guys know and remind you how powerful this business is that we have. And until, it's treated like it's a business, You'll and, and if it's still like a hobby for you, then you get paid like a hobby. And the thing is, is that there's, here's the intention that you have on this side of your hand. You guys are gonna know what this is from when you watch one of the presentations by a presenter by the name of Scott in the summit. Here's the intention, look on the backside, here's the results, okay? Whatever the results are that you have here, there's a correlate uh, intention that has been set, whether you're aware of it consciously or not. So if you don't like the results, change the intention, game over. If I was Jim Bob and had a mic, I'd say mic drop. So um, yeah, I think, I don't know, I went off on a little tangent there, but <laughs> I'm just saying that really this taking this, looking at it from the business perspective, getting your intern, training them up, skilling them up, watching what happens, you know, don't necessarily expect that you're going to double or triple your business in the three months, but think of how much your business will grow from the things that they can put into practice for you. Okay. Um, uh, that's pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys. I want to keep this between 30 and 40 minutes. Um, and Melissa, you're welcome, uh, for sharing this with you. The best thing that you can do, um, and, uh, for, for us, for me at the summit is, uh, continue to keep sharing it with your teams and cross line, up line, down line, everybody's in line, let them know about the summit because there's a lot of people that don't even know that this thing exists. Number one, number two, um, I would highly encourage you to become a VIP member and, um, support us as a paid member for the summit because that continues to allow us to keep offering it for free. Um, and you can do that by uh, joining monthly um, as, a, as an app member or a VIP member. You get the app and access to all the trainings we've ever offered um, for $19.95 a month or $197 for the year. In fact, right now it's actually $30 off. But if you're watching this in the future and you go to the order page and it's a higher price than you missed out, so go and do that. I will uh, post the link after and say where you can go and get your, um, in fact, I'll do that right now, um, where you can get the summit um, and, and purchase it. Um, and the other thing is that we are just in the midst of releasing this as I'll finish things off here. Um, if there is, uh, let me finish my thought here, is that um, the other thing we're gonna be doing is we're introducing our uh, ambassador program um, and that basically just means that we are, uh, it's, it's a, it's a program where we, you can actually get a, a personalized, um, referral link through the summit. And then when you refer people to join and they buy the paid version, you can actually get paid 20% commission. Now, this is not intended to be like a distraction for you with building your business, but if you're going to refer the summit anyways, um, why not get paid for it? And if you're, you're not interested in that, that's okay. We would just be grateful for the 
um, uh, for the referral anyways, okay? So I'm gonna post the buy now link there for you guys. Um, and then you can go and get the summit if you haven't. Um, and go get yourself a, um, go get yourself an intern, okay? Go to the link and, um, and, and watch what happens. If you guys have questions, if you have um, uh, anything else that you'd like to learn, then just stay posted for the presentation that's coming in the summit um, on, from Gen M. They're gonna be contributing to the summit. And then I'm, I'm thinking and I'm feeling and sensing that we're probably gonna have to do like a follow-up webinar or a training with them so you guys can ask them the questions because I'm not getting paid to do this at all. I'm just sharing with you out of my, out of my own time because I wanna share this with you. So I hope that you guys really appreciate that and nice to see you, Sherry. Um, and yes, you are totally right. Uh, Lee, there is so much more help out here than there was five years ago. Um, and uh, Terry, so right here, this is great. So I know I was talking to you, so this is good. Um, <laughs> so the, if you're calling your, if you're aware of the ignorance and that's good, that's the first step to becoming not as ignorant, um, but you can make some really, really great changes um, in your business. Um, if you can take on one intern, get going with them and then take on a second, you know, in the second or third month and just keep that going. It can, I think it's gonna be pretty great. Um, and I'm going to post here, here's the link. Okay. So you can go and get yourself, you can still buy the flash drives, the digital downloads they are on sale right now for a hundred dollars off. If you're interested in one of those packages, what's really cool about it is that you can buy now, uh, for 197, get the downloads or the flash drive for this year's summit. You wouldn't get the app. Um, but uh, you'll then get access to go be able to log in online and watch the past training and content all the way up until the end of the summit. As soon as the summit's done, then your access gets cut off. Um, I think your best bet personally, if you were asking me, um, is to go for the VIP uh, program or membership, which is to our success summit app at 1995 a month or 197 for the year. Um, because you literally, it's like Netflix. You have everything at your fingertips. Um, to listen, watch, and read the presentations, all 210 from the past three years, plus the other 60 to 70 that are coming this year. Um, and then when you're watching um, or listening and you get inspired and you want to share with a friend or a team member or a prospect, um, you can just hit the share button right in the app, first name, last name, email, boom, it sends them an email and it gives them a link that they can then watch that presentation for 48 hours. Um, in fact, I think it just came up with another idea for my marketing intern. <laughs> um, but I'm going to share... I'll share that later. Basically, get the app and I'll give them a list of like 50 people, prospects or business builders and say, here, can you go through and send them, go into the app, download it and then share them this presentation. They could even do that one hour a week. What would that look like if you shared 50 presentations from the Summit app with 50 people in one week? It might take your intern an hour to do that, but over 12 uh, weeks or three months, 50 presentations like that, that's 600 presentations. 600 seeds that are getting planted that you're utilizing other training from the summit in third-party education. Let the tools do the talking um, and continue to keep planting the seeds and the seeds will take root and grow and come to harvest someday, hopefully sooner rather than later. And if the ones don't, um, if they don't, then the birds got them or the uh, started growing and then the, the sun got them. So that's the little Jim Rohn. Um, little Jim Rohn quote here. So I, I got, I would got to wrap this up guys, but I feel like I could stay on here all day with you, but I just want to read this, uh, doc and Hannah, uh, Simmons, uh, while success summit is awesome. The content is well worth the membership. The variety is amazing. Thank you for putting it together. So thank you. Thank you so much. That really means a lot to me. I really do appreciate that. Um, and thank you for your kind words, Kristen as well. And Sherry, uh, we love you from Savannah, Georgia. Well, that's where you are. We're up in Canada. Really appreciate your energy, which by the way, if you guys go to the buy now page um, and you go all the way down to the bottom, you're gonna see this really cool video from Sherry Hester because um, she was she's really passionate about the app. Um, so thank you so much for sharing, guys. Uh, I'd say peace and God bless. Have a great day. Stay blessed, stay grateful, stay humble, and stay hungry. I'm really fired up for the summit this year. We have about 32 days left to go. Uh, thanks for tuning in here. And again, go uh, and get yourself uh, an intern, okay? Get started. Just don't think about it too much. Pull a Mel Robbins on it. Five, four, three, two, one. Go click on the link. Buy yourself the app and buy the summit of some kind, and then get yourself um, the an intern. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Love you guys. We'll see you later. Bye bye.